as I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. Codsworth, you're still here. So other people could still be alive too. Well, of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International. But you seem the worse for wear. Best not let the hubby see you in that state, huh? Where is Sir, by the way? He's... in a better place. Oh, Mum, these things you're saying, these... Terrible things. I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped. I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my baby back. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you sure? A bit over 210, actually, Mum. Give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some... Minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. If you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting a little weird. What's wrong? I, I, uh, Mum, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car, the car! How do you polish rust? Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. I, I did find this hollow tape. I believe Sir was going to present it to you. As a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, Mum. Pesky neighborhood dogs. And mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, Mum. <laughs> Another bug to bash. I don't feel pain, you know. Senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. Terrific! It's a fight then.
Mia. Hey, Codsworth. Miss Mia? Sir and young Sean? They aren't here. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, Mum. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. You remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge, out of the neighborhood, and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home front. Hi, honey. Listen, I don't think Sean and I need to tell you how great of a mother you are, but we're going to anyway. You were kind and loving and funny. <laughs> That's right. And patient. So patient. Patience of a saint, as your mother used to say. Look, with Sean and us all being at home together, it's been an amazing year, but... Even so, I know our best days are yet to come. There will be changes, sure. Things we'll need to adjust to. I'll rejoin the civilian workforce. You'll shake the dust off your law degree. But everything we do, no matter how hard, we do it for our family. Now say goodbye, Sean. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye, honey. We love you. I'm coming, sweetheart. <laughs> 